We are at the Kitchen Garden Enterprise, which is based in BS13, which is in South Bristol, has a population of about 22,000 people. I'm the programme lead for the Kitchen Garden Enterprise, which is part of the organisation Heart of BS13. And we work in the community to address health inequality here in this part of the city. We grow cut flowers, um, seasonal cut flowers, and we grow herbs and vegetables. Um, we've also got an orchard and we've got some um, wildlife habitats and spaces around. We're based on an allotment site and we've got lots of no dig beds. Well, I come here and I do um, sweet peas, peas, squash, dill, onions. I love it here. <laughs> yeah, it gets me out the house. Because it feels like I'm, I'm working forward, not backwards. It feels like you want to grow your own food <laughs> instead of buying it. we have core volunteers. The core volunteers are volunteers who are, are able to commit to half a day or two days a week supporting the enterprise and being part of this incredible team um, and um, they gain one-to-one uh, -one mentor sessions with, with the gardeners and the, the, the leaders here. It's a real mixed team of people and people come in and share skills and bring skills as well as learn skills on the project. I volunteer usually on a Tuesday, which is my day off work. Um, I come here to learn more about no dig growing. I'm a really keen gardener um, and I live locally on the estate. So I, this project I just think is amazing and I'm really keen to be a part of it. It's a nice little sanctuary in the middle of my busy week. Um, coming down to the garden and I get to take lots of what I learn home to my to my own place and my own practice. You have to travel to get to usually to get to a project like this and so it's just really really refreshing to find Heart of BS 13 that is right here in, in the heart of the community and um, and doing what it's doing which kind of just touches on so many of the important things um, I think for, for local people. I, at first, I was coming here just because I was asked to by my uh, support worker and uh, didn't really think much of this place. I ended up actually coming um, here for the past uh, two and a half years and uh, in ended up being part of the core team. And we're going to put it just on top of here. I've been working with Ben, who is someone who has a little bit of interest in the past from composting and we're working together to kind of help maintain the beds that we're building. Even layer on top. In terms of permaculture, it's capturing that potential waste, capturing that resource and turning what could be waste into something that is beneficial both for our garden and for the wider community and the issues that we're addressing. If I've chopped it up. A report that was produced by the Centre for Alternative Technology found that food waste accounts for about 22% of BS13's carbon emissions, which is huge. So as a small market garden, we're trying to have our impact on those emissions and we're trying to do our best towards reducing that. So much of, our, of what we do here is based around those ideas. It's, it's people care, it's planet care, it's working with the community, we're looking for slow and small solutions. We're taking our time to uh, observe what works here and we're working with the community to do, make those changes. So it's not just about what work, will work in this one space or what specific problems we're trying to solve. We're looking at broader systemic interconnected issues. We're a social enterprise, so we, we still rely on quite a few grants, um, but we want to be more sustainable. So
so we are growing flowers to generate income which will then be invested back into the VS13 community um, with the idea of um, increasing our volunteer programs around our mentoring sessions, um, education and um, as we build the program to have trainee, paid trainee internships um, to look at um, increasing job opportunities and access to uh, career in, in horticulture and the environment. Most cut flowers are imported, around 90%, and they're grown under quite bad conditions or in, in countries where there's not enough water. Um, so we actually can grow a lot of flowers in the UK. We have enough light in the summer and we have the environment. We, we do need poly, polytunnels to stretch out the seasons. We're developing the cut flower enterprise alongside the food. We are producing some veg boxes that are sold locally. We also grow food um, for some cooking programmes we have here in our brand new field kitchen. And again, people from the community are able to engage, are able to come and pick food, taste food, learn about food, get inspired by food, meet people and walk home with food. And then we also grow for the Real Meal Store, which is our sister enterprise, which just launched this year, which is part of our, our programme, which is to, um, tackling food insecurity here in BS13. The Real Meal Store was initially born out of the need for support to residents in the global pandemic. And since April of last year, we've sent out 30,000 free meals to residents. There have been a lot of people that were self-employed, like beauticians, taxi drivers, electricians, plumbers, that just couldn't work anymore. So they self-referred for the last year. Uh, we soon realised, as funding was coming to an end, that there was still a lot of work to be done in this area, and we decided to set up a social enterprise called The Real Meal Store. So we're now using ingredients from our kitchen garden enterprise. We feed those through all of our meals, which go back to our residents. And the really lovely thing is that we can have volunteers at the kitchen garden who are helping produce the veg and herbs that we use in our meals. And then a few weeks later, they can actually receive those, those vegetables and herbs in their frozen meals. What's your favorite thing here? <sighs> Tea break. <laughs> meeting friends, meeting different people, and having a bit of banter. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been really nice for me. I, I enjoy the peace and quiet here, and uh, the serenity of this place really helps. This project benefits all of BS13, and um, since uh, we're branching out, helping a, a lot more people. So, yeah, I do think. Uh, more places like this would actually help everyone.